my name is Zach Kersetter with KMG Academy in Boulder, Colorado. And today I want to talk to you about a brand new Maxwell Lab device called Splitter, which is going to allow you to take a stereo audio file and it's going to separate it out for you into different stems, which will allow you to quickly and easily remix it. So in the past, I've had plenty of students come up to me and say, hey, I want to do a remix, but I only have the stereo file. How do I actually do a remix to it besides just doing a bootleg remix? Uh, in the past, you could do things like do some phase inversion, which allow you to either get the acapella or instrumental out of a file, or you could use a uh, really high-end plugin like some of the Isotope RX series, which will allow you to manipulate uh, sounds within a stereo file. However, none of them I think worked super well or were really easily accessible. So this is a fantastic way to get stems out of anything that you want, which is perfect for remixing or sampling or just playing with some kind of source material. Uh, this was all developed by a really awesome artist and programmer and human being named Azuki. Uh, we're gonna have a link to her Bandcamp, which is going to allow you to not only download her music, but also the Max for Live device. It's gonna cost you a dollar, but it's totally worth every penny. So once you download the Max for Live device, there'll be instructions on how to install it and get it all set up. You will also need to install another program called Docker, which will be linked within that download information. Uh, Docker is gonna be kind of just sitting in the background uh, and allow us your, the Max for Live device to communicate with an AI that's going to allow you to extract your stems. So here's Docker, you just need to make sure it's downloaded, installed on your computer, and opened before you do anything else. So once you do that, uh, I would also recommend taking the Sweeter device and adding it to the places within your live browser. And then you're gonna go ahead and add it to a track. Uh, you can see the device itself is fairly straightforward. Uh, you just need to highlight a clip and then hit start. So what I've done here is I found a song that I like. Uh, this is a song by Zora Jones and Sinjin Hawk that just I happened to be listening to recently and I wanted to test it out, this out on. Uh, this could work really well, it might not work so well. I don't know yet, I haven't tried it with this song, but uh, over the past couple of songs I've been trying this out on, my experiments, uh, have been going really well and I'm getting some really good results out of it. So we're gonna try this out. So you just select the song, you highlight it and hit start and it's gonna do its thing. It does take about 30 seconds to a minute to process. Um, the first time you try this out, it will take a little bit longer, um, but we'll see what happens. So that took about a minute, um, but once it's done, it's gonna open up a folder for you that's going to list a drum stem, a bass stem, a, an other stem, and a vocal stem for you automatically, which is super cool. Uh, also, if you have uh, your splitter folder within your places, you can also access it right here, and we'll have all the songs that you've done this to. So let's go ahead and take these guys, and we're gonna shift select them, and I'm gonna add them into the range of view. If I wanna add multiple tracks to the range of view simultaneously, I can hold down the command key, and that puts them all on separate tracks, which is super handy. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to the original track first, just so we know what we're dealing with, uh, and then we can listen to each individual stem and see how it did. Is this what the original sounds like? Uh, and we'll go ahead and listen to the bass and see how that sounds. And we'll jump over in here a little bit. So it's, it's the bass, it, it, there's a little bit of phasing in there and we're getting all of the bass, but it's definitely the bass. Uh, here we have the drums. Sounds like the drums. You are getting a little bit of background sound, there's some, like a little bit of vocals in there and a little bit of the bass in there, but it sounds like the drums. Let's try out the other. Um, a lot of times this is where you're gonna get a lot of like weird background noises and some like harmonics. So you can hear a little bit of the drums, a little bit of the vocals in there. As well as some other background noises. Um, and then here we have the vocal part. Which sounds like a vocal part. And again, it's a little bit of bleed from the drums, but it's really not too bad. Uh, and then if we listen to all of them together, the audio quality is surprisingly high, in my opinion. Uh, so individually, you can notice a few more of those artifacts and a few more of that, that kind of like phasing weirdness that's happening. Uh, but altogether, they work pretty well, uh, which means if you're gonna be re remixing here, um, there's tons and tons of potential for, for taking individual parts, um, taking just the vocal part or the bass or the drums uh, and chopping those up and recreating those, rematching those in a way that really suits how you want to do your remix. So really, really awesome tool. Big shout out to Azuki for creating this and developing it and releasing it and making it accessible for everybody. Uh, if you're somebody who does a lot of remixing, if you're somebody who does a lot of sampling, this is gonna open up a whole new world for you. It's gonna give you a lot of opportunities for creating things your own way and really 
diving into remixes and changing things up. So check out her Bandcamp, download the Max for Live device, follow the instructions for uh, installing it, and it's pretty straightforward from there. Uh, this is a really, really handy tool that's going to allow you to explore remixes a lot more. I like to do sampling uh, in all kinds of different ways, and I think uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to play around with. So a uh, big thanks to Azuki for both developing this as well as making it available. Uh, I highly recommend checking it out, and I will see you next time for the next video. Thanks for watching.